Okay, my name is Vincent Caraba, and I'm a professor at Yale University, and I'm standing in front of the real-life uh, Iron Man suit here. This is an exosuit that we use in our scientific research to go uh, into the ocean. Uh, this suit is a one-atmosphere suit. It maintains room atmosphere as you go down to depths uh, in excess of 1,000 feet. It has its own self-contained air system. Uh, it has its own uh, jet propulsion with pedals that are in the feet. So as you move, you move with pedals in the feet, you move the suit around underwater. On land here, it's about 600 pounds. Underwater, it's absolutely neutral buoyant. So underwater, it moves around like a feather. You, 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 you manipulate it by, by flipping those pedals, and the suit goes forward and back and up and down. It's like a self-contained submarine. So you have no decompression sickness. You don't have to overcome any of the, any of the issues of sort of tethered diving. It has a tether that goes to the surface so everybody can watch what's going on. There's a camera you can see on its shoulder so that people on the surface can watch what we're doing and we can talk communication up to the ship and everything. This is a really tight form-fitting uh, little suit. It weighs a lot less. It's the newest with the best visibility and so sort of the best flexibility. I'm not a marine biologist myself but I'm able to be trained up to go down in the suit and play around. We need better joints, we need a slightly better material, so maybe this is aluminum, we could do carbon fiber, we could do a lot of things to improve the suit and still go down to depth. We could add all kinds of funny tooling and equipment onto the suit, so it's actually not that far off. And this suit is resistant at that level of pressure, so it's really an armored Iron Man suit. If you want to call it. And I think having the right um, modified materials, and the, which are out there, you know, there are military grade materials and things that would make this kind of a suit much more limber. And so this is the only one in existence. Uh, I think you need bigger companies. You need Tony Stark's company to do this. Okay, so my name is Michael Lombardi. I'm the diving safety officer for the American Museum of Natural History and a special projects consultant for the JF White Contracting Company. And we're here with the new Exosuit Atmospheric Diving System, which is a new uh, hard metal diving suit that's a that allows uh, scientists to explore entirely new depths uh, with an entirely new capability. This, it's a cast aluminum suit, it's a hard metal suit. We're enabled to, to move with the use of rotary joints. So the red rings you see on the suit are oil-filled joints uh, that let you bend your arms and legs. The, on, the, on the hand pods of the suit are uh, manipulators. They're manually actuated from inside the suit with a set of grips. They don't look like they can, can accomplish much, but you can actually do very, very fine tasks. And you can, you can unthread uh, a nut from a bolt. You can pick up a dime off the floor. There are R&D efforts underway right now um, to develop more of a prehensor style hand. So you have the ability to, to index your thumb, um, and that's mechanically through, through the suit. With, you'd wear a glove inside the suit. I think we will see that um, within the lifetime of this technology, I certainly hope to use it for future expeditions, and that's that's really game changing. It'll quite likely be the next generation, or maybe one more out from that, where uh, you know you have this Iron Man type suit, where you have totally uh, uninhibited articulation of, of joints and manipulation, um, and able to move totally free form as a human. So we're, we're we're getting closer. We're certainly going that direction. Marvel. Your universe.